Hi, what you're gonna see now is a short clip from one of my video lessons. If you like it, you can download the full one hour lesson right away now by clicking the link. Along with the video, what you get is free downloads, which includes full band parts, all the handouts for the class, plus some custom made play along uh, backing tracks, which I've made to fit every tune. On my website, there's over 50 hours of video lessons covering classic jazz repertoire. And for the price of one video lesson, you can sign up for my VIP membership deal, and that gives you access to the full catalog, the full library of all the lessons. It's a one month rolling subscription, so you can unsubscribe at any time. Hope you like the video, see you soon. But if we look at the tune, what I think is really interesting is, is the phrasing. So it's the way Miles, Miles plays the tune. I think it's a lesson in itself. So I've written this out just like it is on the record. There's a couple of things, <clears throat> again, you know, writing it down, it really helps. Notice he, he very rarely plays on the first beat of the bar. That's something that if you look at, the, if just look at the sheet music, you can see quite often there's a rest on the first beat of the bar when he starts a phrase, okay? I'm not talking about every bar. So when we talk about phrases, we're talking about two and four bar phrases. So if we start thinking about his phrasing, and so what, he, and what it does, it gives this amazing feeling of being very relaxed. He's in no hurry to get in and play the tune. So, you know, they, they play, the rhythm section play the, are playing the time underneath, the chord is placed, and then he plays. And it's incredibly uh, sort of like, it really slows the pace of it down. And then what he'll often do is he'll kind of catch up a bit later on by condensing the phrase. Or it's, it's kind of like he's playing catch up with the harmony quite often. So he'll, the, you'll get the chord and then he'll play the phrase after it. Or sometimes he'll anticipate it, yeah? and play. So he's not playing bang on every chord with every, every phrase. I think that's a really important thing. So what you get is this sense of the rhythm section playing the harmony underneath. He's kind of floating over the top, like, like a singer would do, you know, like a, like a vocalist. So I think sometimes as instrumentalists, you know, when you've got the sheet music, it's very easy to sort of get stuck into playing the notes and thinking of the notes, whatever, you know. Um, and, and, and really what you need to be able to do is free yourself up from that uh, rhythmically, yeah, so that it's like you're floating across it. You're not tied to those bar lines. And I think he's absolutely masterful on this. Let's just have a listen. So what we're going to get is the head. Play along, play along if you like. And then we've got, I've written out his first solo, the first chorus. He does two choruses, the first chorus of his solo. And again, even, and this is the other thing, when he gets to his solo, he doesn't suddenly start going nuts, right? Because he's set the mood. So his solo very, it just very subtly builds as he's playing. Again, at the beginning, lots of space. Look at all those rests on that second page, you know. <clears throat> and, and often he doesn't, you know, he doesn't feel the need to fill all the space. He repeats his ideas a lot. So, he, you know, there's not a lot of ingredients there. And it's, it's just fantastic, right? So, you know, again, it's a good lesson. Here we go, from the top. <laughs> 